Hello, welcome to the Evolution of the Zombie movie. And um, this video was influenced by a Hoy's Gamer video entitled Zombies, which I urge you to check out if, you, um, if you're any type of gamer or a zombie lover. You should check out Ahoy, and it's called Zombies. It's often debated whether Frankenstein's monster in Mary Shelley's Frankenstein novel constitutes as a zombie figure and whether it's the character on the big screen in 1910's 16-minute short film or in the fact that Boris Karloff Frankenstein in, in 1931 because the monster is made up of deceased parts, you know, collected from the grave by Dr. Frankenstein. So is, it, is the creature a zombie? We don't know. Um, it's a convoluted topic of discussion. According to popular belief, the crown of the first zombie flick was given to White Zombie, made one year after Frankenstein in 1932. It starred the one and only Bela Lugosi, of Dracula fame. Whenever I heard of Bela Lugosi, all I think of is Bauhaus with their song Bela Lugosi's Dead. Now, White Zombie heavily relied on old folk tale, far removed from the modern zombie idea of today. It had uh, themes of voodoo and tales of possession. Its scare also, also stemmed from its anti-religious outlook, the non-Christian values portrayed in the film. A young man turns to a witch doctor to lure the woman he loves away from her fiancé, but instead turns, it, turns her into a zombie slave. Directed by Victor Halperin, who also directed the next zombie film, would you believe, Revolt of the Zombies, in 1936. I like the way they use the word revolt as well, it's great. An international expedition is sent into Cambodia. There's a holiday in Cambodia to destroy an ancient formula that turns men into zombies. During this year... There was another one called Wanga. I think I'm announcing that right, Wanga. Set in Haiti, and it's also to do with voodoo. There was a semi-remake of Wanga called The Devil's Daughter by Arthur H. Leonard in 1939. The zombie prototype appeared in Morbi movies, The Ghost Breakers in 1940, King of the Zombies a year after, I Walk with a Zombie in 1943. No, not that. French film director Jack Turner who made Night of the Demon in 1957, set in London. He made the film I Walk, the, well, I Walk With the Zombie. And, yeah, I urge you to check out Night of the Demon, set in 1957. It's a spectacular movie. I urge you to watch it. You know, it's one of those old black-and-white movies which f focuses on a demon, and, you know, you can actually see it, and it's, it's very well done, and it's British, so... Revenge of the Zombies, Voodoo Man, Valley of the Zombies came after. Not hitting the big time, though, I'm afraid. There was a few years when, where the zombie fad seemed to have died out until Creature with the Atom Brain was released in 1955, the only B-movie zombie to come out in almost a decade. The zombie movie was hitting its rough patch. You know, Edward came on our screens with his Plan 9 from Outer Space in 1959, often dubbed the worst movie ever made. It seemed the zombie genre was at its lowest point, and there didn't seem hope in hell. Other countries gave it a shot. Mexico, Italy, the UK, both failing flat in the 60s. 1968, arguably the most pivotal year of the zombie franchise. 1968, Night of the Living Dead, the first film to depict zombies as reanimated cannibalistic corpses. George A. Romero stepped up and changed the platform of the zombie movie. They're coming to get you, Barbara. A zombie movie could actually have success. George A. Romero is now named the daddy of the zombie movies for his first feature film. A group of individuals take refuge in an abandoned house when corpses begin to leave the graveyard in search of fresh human bodies to devour. The film wasn't only revolutionary in its zombies, but in its protagonist, Dwayne Jones, as Ben, as a, a black man having a lead role, which is un unheard of in those times, but I, I love that fact, I love that idea. The ending of this phenomenal film also distraught viewers, you know, having such a narrative twist uh, that, that shook some feathers. Quite an um, upsetting ending. After the success of Night of the Living Dead, we had I Drink Your Blood in 1970, I Eat Your Skin in 1971, and um, in 1972 we had Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things, which is also known as Revenge of the Living Dead. And it was a 1972 comedic horror film directed by Bob Clark. Now, Bob Clark went from comedy zombies to baby geniuses. Now, baby geniuses have been also named as one of the worst films ever made by IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is one of the first instances 
of the comedy zombie film with uh, children shouldn't play with dead things. An earlier representation of one of my favourite zombie movies of all time, Shaun of the Dead. Um, so 1972 came along and it was a big year for the dead as many zombie films were released. They all fell by the wayside for the 1978 release of Dawn of the Dead. Zombies in a mall. The satirical look on the zombie feature surely was a good sequel to Sink Your Teeth Into after Night of the Living Dead and had been so long since the, re- since the original. He did make films after, after Night of the Living Dead, you know, but none was as successful as Dawn of the Dead or, in fact, Creepshow. I'm going to rustle some feathers and say I personally believe Lucio Fulci's zombie a year after, in 1979, The Dead Are Among Us, it's often called, or Zombie, Flesh Eaters, uh, was better than Dawn of the Dead. The setting and the characters of Dawn of the Dead obviously beat Lucio Fulci. That's just common knowledge, but... Um, I think the zombies in Lucio Fulci's are far better in, the, in their look. You have that amazing scene where the zombie comes up from under the dirt and it still shakes me to the core today. The special effects on that zombie is wonderful. I've got Actually, I have a poster of that zombie at my, at my home. 1980s happened. We had zombie holocaust. The less said about that, the better. City of the Living Dead came first in the Gates of Hell trilogy. 1981, Evil Dead arrived Sam Raimi's baby the trilogy that changed cinema Bruce Campbell I'll say that again Bruce Campbell for those of you listening and um, it was a supernatural zombie film after watching it you'll never forget the tree sex scene 1985 The Return of the Living Dead by Dan O'Bannon Reanimator the American comedy horror science fiction film loosely based on H.P. Lovecraft's episodic novella Herbert West Reanimator by Stuart Gordon Day of the Dead came out, another George A. Romero film, Night of the Creeps in 1986, and Zombie Nightmare with Adam West in it. Prince of Darkness, John Carpenter wanted a slice of the zombie pie, depicting homeless zombies. Wes Craven even did too, with The Serpent and the Rainbow in 1988, bringing voodoo back to horror. Pet Cemetery came before the 1990s arrived. Now, 1990s almost killed off the zombie fad forever, We had only Brain Dead, Dead Alive, Peter Jackson's film, and Sam Raimi's Army of Darkness, the only comic relief in this dismal, dismal decade. Ten years later, in 2002, Danny Boyle made the film 28 Days Later, which sure shook up the zombie genre, smacked it across the face, woke it up, and wiped away the cobwebs and created the infected humans. A bit different from from the classic zombies. The zombies could run. The zombies were savages. One of the greatest moments in zombie history is seeing London completely empty as the zombies have overrun the city. We cannot forget the scene where I think everyone wishes this would happen to them. Um, the only kind of relief from the zombie film would be you can fly around the supermarket getting anything you like. And that's uh, I've always liked that scene in 28 Days Later. Uh, 2002 brought the film that was adapted for my personal favourite game of all time, Resident Evil. Although the, pa- the the plot is nowhere to be seen in the movie, it was still enjoyable, fractionally enjoyable. Another game adaptation took the form of House of the Dead in 2003 and was panned by the critics. 2004 was another hard hitter for zombie culture because my favourite zombie flick of- was born, Edgar Wright's Shaun of the Dead part one of the Cornetto trilogy. It's a romantic comedy with zombies and remains the best tagline ever made. And I've watched this film over 50 times, still makes me laugh, still refreshing, still a joy to watch, you know, 12 years after it was made. Um, Some say it piggybacked on the remake of Dawn of the Dead, but I think it stands alone and it's far better than the uh, the remake of, of Dawn of the Dead. In 2005, we had Land of the Dead. Zombies could use weapons. I recognise Slither as well, being in 2006, which had a loosely based zombie character in it. I Am Legend in 2007 with the infected humans, with Will Smith, of course. Adopted that kind of persona from 28 Days Later. That dog scene will evade me from watching this anytime soon. 2007, we also had 28 Weeks Later, sequel to 28 Days. After 2007, there was a drought of zombie Zombie. movies. They were all just generic. (laughs) Fucking zombie. Uh, Zombies moved over media platforms and started selling really, really well in TV and games in 2010 with AMC's The Walking Dead, starring Andrew Lincoln. 
still going strong now, six years later. People are still talking about it on Twitter, on Facebook. You know, the spoilers, God, the spoilers. We also have big takeover in games like Dead Rising or um, The Last of Us. The Cabin in the Woods in 2011 had zombies only peripheral to a plot. A spectacular movie to take on the to take on the horror franchise. Resident Evil and Wreck kept shooting out the sequels during this period, which didn't get uh, as much money as the first ones did. 2013, a big budget film happened, the big budget zombie film. For the last God knows how many decades, zombies were always low budget, but World War Z happened, and it was a big budget, big star, Brad Pitt, but the confusing ending left some viewers getting a bad reaction. It had a 190 million budget compared to, say, 114,000 pound budget the Night of the Living Dead had previous. In 2013, they had Warm Bodies, and 2014's Dead Snow are the most recent zombie films I can think of personally. Both changed the typical zombie movie. We had Nazi zombies in Dead Snow, taking after the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 game. You know, the zombies in that, which I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed, you know, as multiplayer mode or online mode, you could, you could tackle zombies. And we have Warm Bodies, which uh, shown zombies could love. And zombies could stop being zombies. Warm Bodies had a great soundtrack as well. I must mention the soundtrack of Warm Bodies. It had White Snake, Here I Go Again, and NA3's Midnight City. It was a nice concept, but a forgettable film all in all, I'm afraid. So, the future of zombie movies. I think TV and games have become the surrogate mother for the zombie culture, I'm afraid. But we had Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. We've got Pandemic, World War Z 2 an accidental zombie named Ted, Patient Zero with Matt Smith, Resident Evil The Last Chapter, The Girl With All The Gifts being the anticipated zombie flicks this year and in next year in 2017. We can only hope for another thought-provoking zombie movie that stands the test of time, like Night of the Living Dead or Shaun of the Dead, the two that stick out for me. From Shaun of the Dead in 2004, we had an American kind of um, comedy zombie film called Zombieland in 2009 which adopted some qualities from Shaun of the Dead but made it made it its own it made its own American format version and it stars uh, Woody Harrelson it was directed by Ruben Filcher Felicia a shy student trying to reach his family in Ohio a gun-toting tough guy trying to find the last Twinkie and a pair of sisters trying to get to an amusement park join forces to travel across a zombie-filled America. Bill Murray as a zombie. Must mention that. Bill Murray as a zombie. I wanted to thank you all for watching and please like my Facebook page if you look in, into movie specials and movie soundtracks and you can listen to my movie specials for free and I'll, the details and the links are all below this video.